is what we have here. We are attacking uh, every side naturally because we have the swing passing game to the wings, right wing, left wing. In the center where we have your power players, uh, they go at each other, the power interior, uh, offensive lineman, fullback, tight end, linebacker, linebackers, and uh, this is your power uh, uh, force of, uh, of contact. And um, so, you know, football is about space. Not only that you have that, because the defensive line is much bigger than the offensive lineman, but there are two power guards that come near that, but they still don't, don't make the grade. But you make that up when you have a fullback behind there or a tight end back behind there or a swing blocker. You can only have two power uh, blockers back there and a tight end is considered a power blocker and the fullback is considered a power blocker. So they're set. And uh, uh, but the tight end is moving to the outside. Yes, he's moving to the outside. On this particular playset attack, I'm playing a five-man uh, interior offensive lineman. So therefore, and they're within a yard of the line of scrimmage. So therefore, uh, you must match that with five, um, five de defensive players at the line or near the line by one yard. So you can see the, the reason for that I should tell you is that you, you're you going to have uh, more space actually to the outside. Uh, now, you're going to have to, as a defense coach, you're going to have to, uh, you know, you could put a linebacker here and put a defensive end who's a big guy to come out and smash it. You know, uh, or you could just have a linebacker to come there, but just be smart to do it that way. So you can have a free safety to come up and uh, do to uh, play it. Uh, see, normally what it is is that if it's a wide receiver, you know, you're going you're normally just going to have two uh, stationary, two. I mean, two. Yeah, two stationary uh, cover ones right up right up at the uh, top of the perimeter on the, on the uh, zones, okay? You always got to do that because you're going to have a wide receiver if he's going to be coming out that way. Or if he's going to be coming this way, you got to play him with two. You know, you have to play a wide receiver with two. Okay, so, but in this case, and you only get three uh, stationaries, you know, and three can't play all on one side. But in this case, uh, you're banking that tight end is going to come out and smash and open that zone so that he can have a crease and he can have a hole in there and then the wide receiver could come right through there. So so the best thing is to put, like before, put a defensive end, put a linebacker right there, put a defensive end. Linebacker is good too, though, since it's a wide receiver. So you just put a linebacker. Now the inside, they're going to have a triple stack with a fullback, uh, interior lineman right there, and a running back, the tailback, and a triple stack, double stack. And the quarterback has the option to use his power. Remember, he has a, a little bit of power, not as much as a running back or you know or any anybody else, but you know, but still, that's, that's enough for him to put some force pressure. Uh, but he might roll out like that too, see. Or you might have him on a read, read roll out to the left, you know, which is good. So you got some options there. But if uh, so, you could have a linebacker, or you could put the linebacker in here and put the defensive in, you know, to press it, to come out and smash it up. And uh, then you would cover him, cover the wide receiver, you know, with a uh, top over there. So, so far you got. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you have an extra man. So you might put two tops over there. No, or even you put, you know, you put two tops over here. 
and then you let a safety play a seven step, which means he would be out out of the game. And to uh, the wide receiver was to get out there, and you could put him seven yards back. So uh, you're going to give up some yards that way. I mean, he has to make the contact to uh, containment. Uh, but this is the best way to play it because your interior front is strong enough to hold their own because nothing is coming down except the quarterback. If he's going to come down, you know, he may even roll out. But you just, you get you got to have power to power, and uh, that's enough. But over here, you you got to have a, a linebacker supporting power. You know, even though your defensive lineman is much bigger than the offensive lineman, uh, but you have a fullback behind and you have a running back behind. But that's enough significant power to uh, uh, cause uh, perhaps a line of scrimmage. <clears throat> it's a line of scrimmage, maybe a few yards. But uh, you know how that goes. Sometimes they just gut it out. But uh, but this is the way you play it, see. You know, you don't play your linebacker over here, over there, or have him coming out there. You, you, you play that line, that inside linebacker right there. Now... When that tight end breaks the, the zone, you know, if you haven't given it to the wide receiver directly, or when he's there, if you haven't given it to him directly, uh, then I can put the the, 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 uh, the safety, <coughs> free strong safety, seven yards back from, from the line of scrimmage. These yards are not accurate, you know, so it would probably be about maybe five yards, but normally on the other field would be seven seven big yards, so that mean, <clears throat> he was in. If you were to throw it to him while he's in here, and I could place him seven yards back and try to meet the, the progress if he comes further out this way, you know. And um, so um, that's the restrictive zone right there. So, if, you know, when somebody breaks out of there, they put the this safety seven yards back. It's illegal uh, lineup formation. If you, when the wide receiver is in the backfield, he has to line uh, at a what is that? A um, that is a eleven o'clock eleven o'clock uh, eleven o'clock slant parallel slant and uh now the tight end uh he could go straight you know like that you know you only to have four or five shifts after everything is set and of course after the offense makes that makes those shifts then the defense will have the last uh amount of shifts four four to five two and they could counter this offensive play and move to a, 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 a different slots or different uh, uh, another base attack, you know what they could do. It's a lot that they could do, you know. And then the defense has to, uh, you know, get the last four to five moves. Uh, I'm thinking about four was going to probably have it at five, but I think four would be the uh, the right thing to do. Rules of the of the passing wide receiver swings is you can only have one wide receiver inside, and uh, if you have a, a double receiving, only one inside. You can have two outside. You know, you go come across or come across the slot. You know, uh, slot neutral center to the center center uh, the uh, center centers on the box. Uh, uh, this is more like a uh, spread, uh, spread option offense, you know. So you've got the good offense, the good uh, uh, attacks uh, in three different places. Uh, a wide receiver going out here, a wide receiver is coming out there. The quarterback might read, read it and uh, hold it, and then uh, take it around the ends, you know. Or the running backs they'll power it down. You know, 
Uh, who knows? This runner might just decide to bounce it. I've seen some great runs to go all the way out there and cut it. And uh, then on a wide receiver come in, he might take a, a runner to go out and open his own and have the wide receiver to, uh, you know, have an, uh, a hole in the zone. So if you do get the first down via west zone, east zone, or the neutral century uh, zone, you know, when you get the first down, then there will be two, there will be two people, uh, that's called the escape zone pursuers. They would be uh, 10 yards from the first down. The next one would be seven yards. Uh, and if there are any others that have gone ahead of the plate, then they could do it. Or if you had a seven-step safety that you didn't put on the field, he would join the group of pursuers uh, initially, then he would be 10 yards uh, uh, back, okay? So, you know, but uh, he would actually be on the outside, though, you know, when uh, getting the first down. So 10 yards from the first down, if, if they do get a first down. You know, remember, the quarterback can only run five yards. You might even put a guard uh, back two yards. I mean, I mean, a, a, a guard uh, drop him. Uh, you can, you know, you can have one that goes two. They have three on the line, and uh, uh, well, you got four, but uh, you can you can put at least one back there. No matter what, how many you got on the line, if you have three, you can't have two back though. So you go two yards back, and he can come out there like that. That might force you to uh, have slant the defensive end to come out there. Because the wide receiver is going to try to uh, run more uh, finesse and elusive in the uh, open like that. You know, if he gets open for reception, you know.